What's going on guys? It's your man with the plan, Shane Man 20. I am tired as all hell. And uh, before we get into the video, I do want to show you guys something real quick. As you can see, that is my wheel that would normally be right there. But as you can see, it's not. You want to put two and two together and figure out what happened this week? That's exactly why I didn't have a video out sooner, and I was actually planning on doing a video. I was going to start doing all the recording on Monday, and on my way to work, I got a flat tire. So that was a lovely way to start my week. Uh, fortunately, though, it is plugged right here, and I will show you a picture of what it looked like when I found the hole right now. So needless to say, in about a half an hour with having little to no tools on me really at all, uh, I mean other than what's in the truck, as a lot of guys know, you have everything you need to change a flat tire out on the side of the road or wherever. Uh, fortunately enough for me, I didn't stop on the side of the road because I didn't think that was a smart move, so I pulled off into a uh, business parking lot and did everything there. Unfortunately for me, that business parking lot had a gravel driveway, so... That was fun to deal with, but otherwise, got it done in about a half an hour and still made it to work on time. That's all that really matters. So, um, I'm going to change out this tire real quick and uh, we'll uh, talk further. And would you look at that? The uh, tire's already on there. So, uh, I want to give a huge shout out to my buddy uh, Caleb because if it wasn't for him plugging that, uh, I'd still be trying to figure out what, the, what in the world to do anyways because I know... Anyways, I know that all these tires definitely need replaced. I mean, they're they're getting pretty close. Honestly, if you look, the tread's not that deep. I'm still trying to push by this winter, hoping that it is going to be a mild winter and it's not going to be too bad. I'm just trying to push out what I can with these wheels and tires until the spring, because then in the spring, I'm going to get a new set of wheels and tires. Won't have to deal with this tread problem again, and then uh, eventually what I'll just do is replace the tires and then keep these wheels as a backup set uh, for the winter or for whatever things I might need. So again, a huge shout out to my buddy Caleb. Thanks, man. I really appreciate it. You have absolutely no idea how much I'm thankful for you doing that. Thank you so much. All right, guys. So uh, what I had actually originally planned to do on Monday was talk about the 2019 Silverado. As a lot of you guys know, uh, they did an unveiling of it uh, on I believe it was Saturday or Sunday and the world got a chance to see it for the first time if you haven't seen the video yet uh, Definitely check it out. It was at the uh, Texas Motor Speedway. They were celebrating a hundred years of Chevrolet trucks It was fantastic. I, I I thought the video was pretty cool They brought it in on a helicopter and I was like, well, that was pretty dramatic and it drove through came through the dirt came up And it was it was pretty awesome. I, I have to say and the one that they showcased was the 2019 Chevy Silverado Trail Boss, I believe is what it was. And uh, to be honest with you, it is a very, very striking looking truck. A lot of people initially did not like it, and, and I will put my hand up in the air firmly and say that I, I was one of those people, but I have since changed my mind. Um, there are a lot of different things about this new truck. Um, definitely, number one, the front end is very different. There are a lot of a lot of new things for this truck, and and you know what? We'll we'll pull up an image here, and we will uh, start talking about it. We'll start off with the front end, which looks much different than any other GM truck we've ever seen. Uh, to be honest with you, the little fender gouges that come out, it looks something reminiscent of Ford, but the more you think about it, it actually looks a lot like the Tahoe. The Tahoe had a much different way of doing it. It was really different, but. It was out there. Some people like it, some people don't. I never really personally was a big Tahoe fan, or a, a fan of the newer Tahoes, I should say, with that little fender jab out there. It's kind of different. The other thing is, is if you notice down by where the fog lights are, they look like the little cubes that have been on the aftermarket for a little while. That is kind of something that's different. I do like that. And they also have LED um, halos around where the fender jabs are. It's what I call them. I'm calling them fender jabs. Uh, so there's also LED lights there. They look a little bit strange when you see the truck. So I, I mean, personally, I don't know if I would be a big fan of having those there. I'd probably end up deleting it. 
But I mean, they, they look, they're, they're there, they serve a purpose. They're supposed to be there for lighting, I get it. It is what it is. The other thing that I have a real interesting issue with is the, ha the fact that the entire front end is black and the rest of the truck is red. <laughs> it, I, I would say this, GM, if, if you're gonna do it, I would say color match the whole thing. I mean, I understand this is your Trail Boss edition and it's supposed to, you know, be of a certain importance, but I think I maybe if if you guys are planning on doing something with that front end, you know, give us little drops here and there just so we know. But otherwise, that's I think that's about it for the front end. I mean, the hood's different. Uh, obviously, the fender jabs. Uh, coming to the side profile of the truck, I really like how the body lines are. They're a lot different than anything I've ever seen on a truck. Uh, definitely getting more um, futuristic. I, I notice it comes down from the headlight and then at the uh, mirrors it takes a dive and comes down and then there's a body line that follows all the way down to uh, where the tail light is. Um, also, speaking of mirrors, if you haven't noticed, they actually moved them down. Up until now, every truck I've ever known, every GM truck I've ever known has always had the mirror up here in the very corner. And that's never changed. All of a sudden, they made a drastic change to put it down lower than that. I would be really curious to see how that's going to look from the driver's perspective and also from the passenger's perspective because I want to know if I'm still going to be able to see things or if I'm going to have difficulties looking. I don't want to have to do the whole Ford move where you've got everything here and then it comes down. So I don't want that. I just want to be able to see the mirror. I mean, it looks like a decent spot for it. It's basically instead of jabbing out like they used to it now comes up so you have the mirrors right there i don't know it's still kind of a weird feeling it just means a lot of the um aftermarket mirrors that you could normally get for your truck will now no longer work on the new truck so there is that to consider and we'll go around to the back side of the truck and i will tell you that i see a lot different uh, definitely the taillights are different. They they kind of have that same little fender jab going on, but it doesn't quite wrap around it. It's just, it's kind of there. It, it looks different. Um, also, the other thing, I like, I like what they did with this idea, and I like how they put this giant Chevy or Chevrolet indention in the tailgate. I like the idea of it. I just wish it was down a little bit lower, and... Me personally, if I, I understand why they did it. They centered it around uh, the reverse lights on the tail lights. But if you're going to do that, I would have just brought the tail, uh, the reverse lights on the tail lights down further, and brought the Chevrolet emblem or the big giant Chevrolet button, as I might as well look at it as, bring it down as well, and I would have that would have given it a much more kind of leveled look or more equal look I, that's just something it, it it's kind of it stands out to me i do like the i like the idea of it a lot of people are saying it looks very much like a tundra or something where uh in that ballpark and then the other thing that i notice is that the bumper is different it still includes the corner steps and they have finally done it they have finally incorporated <laughs> they finally incorporated exhaust tips out the back i have always said this a truck looks so stupid with tailpipes out the back on a bumper that doesn't have it there. It doesn't make any sense to put tailpipes going out the back if the bumper doesn't look like it needs it. It just, it looks, it just doesn't look like it needs to be there. You know what I mean? It, it just, it looks ugly. And I like the fact that they at least tried to do a, a very Dodge Ram kind of thing and they incorporated it in the bumper. It's a, definitely a different shape. It's not, you know, round tips. It's more of a like a squared off looking tip. It's it's different, uh, but I do like it. And um, let's see, the only other thing that I really noticed that I, I left for very last was the fact that the GM square fenders are gone. I mean, there is barely any straight edge on those fenders at all and i'm I, i'm i'm kind of i'm kind of like part of me is like that's awesome now the community the gm truck community will stop bitching about whether or not they can put 35s on their two and a half inch leveled truck you know maybe for once i won't ever have to hear that again but 
you never know. Uh, considering there's a lot of people that are hating it because it looks weird, I would just buy it for the just for the round fender, so I don't have to listen to people complain about, hey, well the 35 inch wheel fit on my ton of half inch level truck. Sure thing, there, Jimbo. They'll fit just fine. Speaking of which, looking at the truck, it is leveled. It is. You know, it looks actually really nice. I think those are 33s on it there, and and that 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 actually looks really cool. But otherwise, it doesn't look too bad. It just looks different, very very different from what everybody's used to seeing. And I think that's probably the biggest issue right now is a lot of people just don't really know how to take it right now. It's uh, definitely something very different. Now there are some things going around the internet of the the same truck both lifted on like a nine inch lift kit and big tires stance tires you know those tubbed out you, you, they look weird but it is what it is got a lot of pictures going around of the truck lifted as well as the truck lowered and uh, i've seen both and i absolutely love both and i also found one that actually had the color matched front end somebody photoshopped it with the color matched front end which i thought looked so much better and I was like, if you're going to do it, if you're going to execute it, that's the way to do it. The truck doesn't actually look half bad once you see it lifted or lowered. It looks much better in that in that regard. So, you know, maybe it won't be so bad. We just really need to see the truck in an actual production form. Because as you guys know, that is just a pre-production model. The, the 2019 Silverado that we saw at the Texas Motor Speedway is just simply a pre-production model. It is going to be very close. I would say very 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 close to what production is going to look like but ultimately uh that's kind of where uh, everything is at for right now i think that we need to give it the benefit of the doubt i i think as far as i mean because all we've really seen is the outside of the truck we don't even know what's going on on the inside and i think there was like one spy shot of the interior and it had all the covers off except for the middle part and it looked like all it really was was an updated uh, center console from uh, the 2014 on up trucks is basically what it looked like to me it was just kind of an updated thing with some things moved around other than that that's really about all I noticed it looked a little bit more blocky but I guess we'll wait until I think it's the LA Auto Show or the Detroit Auto Show one of these two auto shows that's coming up here pretty soon where they're going to do a full unveil of the truck and uh, we'll get our chance to see the truck up close and personal and just kind of get a chance to see what it's going to really look like. But ultimately, I'm going to hold off judgments on the truck fully until I actually see it in person. So that way I can at least get a chance to see everything up in person and appreciate the detail that's gone into it and see if there's anything that you know really sticks out that I don't like right off the bat and and we'll just go from there because I, I don't want to judge it based solely off of what I've already seen I mean I've seen what it looks like and I've seen people Photoshop it lifted and I've seen it Photoshop lowered I like it both ways and I and I'm starting to the the look on the truck is starting to grow on me but it's ultimately one of those things that you are who you are if you like it you like it if you don't you don't um, that means more sales will, for these trucks in particular, uh, the 2014 on up trucks, will probably continue to grow for a little while. But ultimately, I guess we'll see what happens when the new 2019 trucks come out and we'll see what happens from there. Anyways, that's my thought on the uh, 2019 Silverado. But what do you guys think of the 2019 Silverado? Do you think it looks cool? Do you think it looks all right? Do you think it looks like shit? Leave something down in the comment section below. Uh, definitely would like to hear people's feedback on this truck. I'm sure 99% of it's going to be all negative, but it is what it is. Everybody has their own opinion about the truck. But anyways, I think that is all I have for today's video. So if you enjoyed today's video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up because I really do appreciate it. Also, if this is your first time stopping into this channel, please hit that subscribe button. Also, make sure to browse the channel and check out my 2014 Silverado that I absolutely love to death. I'm about ready to do a big build on this truck. You guys do not want to miss that. And with that being said, you will also need to hit that notification bell so that way you guys are always notified and emailed of when I post new videos. Because you don't want to miss what I'm about to do with this truck. You don't. You don't want to be left out in the dark. Uh-uh. <laughs> with all that said, guys, hopefully you have a fantastic day. And if I don't get a chance to see you guys before then, I want you all to have a merry, merry Christmas and a happy, happy new year, guys. Take care.